This is Remote Desktop for the Motorola Droid. It's pretty quick right now because I'm on Wi-Fi. Uh, the Droid's native resolution is 848 by 480 pixels. And the way I have this remote desktop session configured is that it, it matches the Android or the Droid's resolution exactly. Droid. Oh, thanks, Droid. Makes text very, very legible. With the iPhone, you can do this as well, except you're going to be pinching and zooming all over the place to do anything. All right, so let's open up. SolidWorks. One of my favorite things to do when I try a remote desktop application. So, I already had this open. I was playing around with this wing design in my on my computer, which is down here. And let's say I'm on the road and I just want to check something, whatever the reason. You can. So, we've got this wing. Um, yeah, let's change the this is too maybe this is too long. We'll change the dimension on the wing. So it's 30 right now. I'll just go down to the keyboard and do alt 2. So that made it 2 and then I'm going to do alt 5. Oops. Got an extra thing in there. Okay, and then hit enter on the keyboard. And I have just changed the shape of my wing. Uh, what else? To make this a little easier, I have mapped a couple of functions through SolidWorks. The C key will turn on rotation. So you can rotate the CAD model. Hit C again and we'll stop. The D key will drag. Okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, zoom. Zoom is handled by the D-pad on the droid, which is kind of nice. Or by the side here. Rotation. So you pretty much have full control. Very nice. Now, let's try editing a sketch, shall we? Okay, so uh, let's do a normal too. This is something I normally do. Double tap the space bar, it brings up the quick view options. And then I just go to normal too. And let's turn off the sketch relations. Uh, right here. Alright, so here's the wing design. I'm going to zoom in. This is just really cool. I'm very impressed by the uh, droid screen. This would be very hard to do on an iPhone. So you can select things, move them around. I don't really need to. I think I've made my point. Discard and exit. Yes. Or just hit enter on the keyboard. How about that? Alright, let's put this in an isometric view. Again, just double tap on the keyboard, spacebar. Okay. So, very useful if you're in a pinch, need to do, pull something up, check a dimension, whatever. Um, very excited. Full access to a quad-core computer. Anywhere you have internet connection. So, there it is. Don't know if I'm going to keep the software just yet. I'm evaluating a couple of them. A nice thing about the Android market is that everything is refundable within 24 hours. So, way to go, Google.